Hello and welcome everybody. In this video, I'm going to be going over the Atlas Earth Explorers Club and what profits look like for a player like myself. And right off the bat, I'll say I am not a hardcore player. I'm very passive on this game. I enjoy the collecting of everything, <clears throat> but I am more of a passive player. But some of you out there might be just like me. So before I get into it, first I want to say thank you so much. There's at least been two individuals recently that have used one of my referral codes. So thank you. I hope you're enjoying the game. I wish I knew people by name so I could give you a shout out. But I much appreciate you using my referral code. And for those that might be interested in playing Atlas Earth, but have not started yet, on screen here is a referral code for me. It is, uh, let's see here, P-C-O-1-A-M. And it's on the screen right there. So hopefully you guys can zoom in and see that right there. P C O. 1 a.m. is a referral code. Now, if you, oh, let me put that back on the screen. If you don't know what that referral code gives you, well, here's the short and simple of it. After you purchase, if you use a referral code when you first start the game, when you purchase the 11th plot of land, you will get two plots of land free in the form of 200 Atlas bucks. So you can buy two free plots of land. And the part that I get is besides you getting two plots of land, I get the equivalent of one plot of land. Again, a lot of people play this game free to play. So that's actually a, a nice little boost right in the beginning when you're first starting out. Um, it takes a while to get going. And that little boost of an extra two plots of land for free can be a huge help for you. So Please, if you are thinking about trying the game out, use a referral code. If not mine, find somebody else's, but use a referral code. Help yourself out. Okay. Uh, let's see. What should I cover here first? I I'm definitely want to talk a little bit about the Explorers Club. Sorry. Dry throat today. It's been really hot here in Michigan and dry. Uh, let's see. Okay. Let me kind of go over how I've been playing for those that might be new to this video. I am a passive player. I don't do that much with Atlas Arcade. I don't purchase bucks through this uh, or anything like that. Pretty much the only thing I try to do is collect my two Atlas bucks every 20 minutes. But I got to be honest, the past two weeks, I have not done well on this at all. Um, Atlas Arcade, I will play it, but only during the special event where you get, what is it, plus 33% or 50% um, on the games. So that's when I'll hit the Atlas Arcade. Other than that... Pretty much the only thing I'm doing is just trying to make sure I've been boosted. Now, I've kind of stayed up on that the last two weeks, just busy, real life things, haven't been able to focus well, but that's okay. So as you can see here, I am pretty much now in the $23 club. And to date, I have purchased, well, I played the game free to play for about two months. I paid for one month of Atlas Earth Explorers Club. Then I stopped the Atlas Earth Explorers Club, but that really helped me jump from 40 plots of land to above 100 plots of land pretty quick. So a huge benefit there. And right now I'm sitting on about 115, I think, or 110 plots of land, 52. That's 95, 110, 115 plots of land. I just decided uh, about a week ago 
because I haven't had time to play, but I really don't want to lose my position in the game, I did go ahead and purchase a second month of Explorers Club. The reason I did that is because I was at day 89 and I purchased the Explorers Club on day 89. Yes, I am fully aware of people doing the tricks and all this kind of stuff to purchase on day 90 and all that. It's not against the rules, but I don't want to get caught up in a future ruling that that's bad juju. So I repurchased the Explorers Club on day 89. And that technically means I've put a total of, I've purchased this twice. The Explorers Club is 50 US dollars a month right now. And I've purchased it twice. So I've got $100 in. So profit wise, I've got $23 or a better way for everybody to look at this is a negative $77 in the game. Is that right? I believe so. A negative $77 in the game. So is Explorers Club worth it? Well, it really depends on how you see this game. Are you playing short term? You want money fast, quick, and now? Um, Explorers Club is not worth it. If you are like me, where I plan to just pick away at this for right off the cuff, I'll say at least another year, well then the Explorer Club, because I'm not able to find time for the other things, lets me boost my land plots up a lot quicker where I would normally be if I was somebody like a bronze dragon and was being uh, more attentive to surveys and playing games and all that. I just don't personally have the time for that between work and my, my home life and my man cave and all that. I just don't have time. So for me, I believe long-term gameplay explorers club is definitely worth it and i would even say especially right in the beginning before you reach 150 plots it is a huge help to get you started to feel like you're earning a decent amount of money per day right now i'm roughly able to earn almost 50 cents a day if i'm on top of it flawless which I'm not. Um, so I'm getting about 40 cents a day, I believe. But that's significant. It feels like a good play. Um, it feels like I'm actually earning something. And yeah, so that's my stance. Is Atlas Earth Explorers Club profitable? If you're playing long term, I believe so. If you're playing short term, no, it's not going to, you're not going to get your payback quick enough. Now, if you already have 500 plots of land, you're going to earn your $50 back a lot quicker. And then it's probably just worth it because the game will probably pay for itself or the Explorers Club will probably pay for itself. But I'm not there yet. So technically, I am now at a negative $77 in the game. But again, my current outlook is I'm going to be playing it for another year at least. I don't think after this, I don't think I'll be doing Explorers Club again. Uh, I want to get to 150 plots, which this month of Explorers Club will let me do. And then I need to start collecting the, uh, the passport badges. So let's take a look at where I'm at on passport badges. And here you can see. Uh, I had the initial passport badges that I purchased just to unlock the Explorers Club. I really need to finish this out and then jump over here and start getting these. But when you look at this in terms of Atlas Bucks, uh, let's see, what do we got? Five, ten. So there's 20 of them here at 200 a pop. That's 4,000 Atlas Bucks right there, or 40, 40 plots of land. I kind of want the plots of land more than the five per, extra 5% boost. I know that's not what all the, the other streamers out there say to do. 
So I will just say this here. If you want the fastest, best way to earn the most money, definitely watch Bronze Dragon uh, and his stream and his videos on uh, the correct tier jumping and when you should, when you shouldn't, because he has outpaced me hands down in earnings in this game. But that's okay. We have different play styles. Maybe his play style is better for you. Just use my referral code, not his. I'm kidding. <laughs> use the referral code for yourself. If not mine, use his. If not his, find somebody. Use a referral code if you're going to start playing the game. Uh, so to finish this fun video off, I have my Atlas Bucks saved up that I, I, from this, these are from day 90, uh, my bonus. Well, I want to fill out more of my land here. And so uh, let's go ahead and start buying up some, uh, another 18 plots of land right here in this video. Here we go. 18 plots of land coming up. So let's hit buy. Okay. I don't like that. I want, let's see. I want it to, I want to purchase up in this area if possible. Uh, there we go. I'll buy that. Wish me luck, guys. 18 plots. We start off with a rare. Not bad. I'll take it. Let's see. Bye. No whammies. Oh, whammy. <laughs> I'm really hoping the Atlas Earth team starts to add more types of like uh, interaction with the the map aspect of the game, like diamonds and that type of stuff. The mini games all use Atlas Bucks, but there's hardly anything that uses diamonds. It almost makes you wonder why did they go with a Pokemon style game to collect diamonds and then they don't really use them? Well, they haven't had any additional uses for them. Oh, we're striking out across the top of my map here, but I got to fill all this in. So I have a nice, perfect rectangle. I'll be buying these plots either now or later. It'd be nice if I picked up an epic or two. I mean, out of 18 plots, we need something good. Question, do you guys, should I buy the street as well? On the edge of my, I'm a corner property. Should I uh, buy the, the location? The street itself. Oof. I'm definitely having horrid luck right now. You guys are not wishing me enough good vibes, good sensations. Okay, so I've only gotten rare out of the deal here. Come on, whammies. Yep, I got them. <laughs> oh, what a shame. Nine plots of land. <laughs> Striking out, guys. Here we go. Oh, I should also mention. I was a mayor or became mayor and I'm still retaining mayorship. How much have I earned from mayorship? I have earned zero. I've got nothing from being mayor in my little podunk town or township. Come on, something higher than a rare. 
I'm buying tons of plots here. Come on.